Hi everyone, you're watching the Green Dream Project. I'm Jim. I'm Jessica. And we're here with today with another video. Our subject today is distraction. Or maybe you could think of it as escapism. Sometimes those two go hand in hand, right? And it's a very easy thing to do and it can just get in the way of trying to achieve any kind of goals and aspirations that you have. Like if you're looking to get out of your your day-to-day -day job or looking to get a new job or you know just whatever you want to achieve in life. You know, it's those little day-to-day -day distractions, little day-to-day -day things that habits that we might get into that just just get in the way of all that, right? Or little flies that... <laughs> Sometimes the little flies can uh, can be a distraction. I mean, yeah, I mean, things like uh, TV, computers, going to the movies, video games. And I'll tell you one of the bigger things is this thing right here. It can be a huge impediment, a huge distraction. I mean, these things... I think could possibly be one of the greatest inventions of mankind as far as getting things done, productivity. I mean, you can just do everything on these things. What you can also do is download a ton of stuff to completely waste your life away. <laughs> and money. And money. Yeah. All these little things can just add up as a, a loss of time, loss of money, uh, just taking away the focus from your uh, from your daily drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's important when uh, it might be a good idea when bringing these activities into our lives to bring forth bring forth a, a permaculture activity that we've learned. Bring forth a permaculture exercise that we've learned, and that's to view these activities as rather degenerative, generative, or regenerative. You know, are these things hurting us or bringing us down? You know, that would be how you know, um, bring ill will and ill health into a, our lives. That would be degenerative. So, generative would be kind of keeping the status quo, right? keeping the status quo it it may not be super helpful but it's not hurting us either um, I mean you could look at uh, owning an automobile to be um, possibly generative because it takes uh, money and stuff to keep it running but it has its uses in getting us around or whatnot so it's kind of a balance on there then the last thing is regenerative. Something that adds value to your life. Yeah, something that's going to enrich your life, something that's going to make you better for it. Or, you know, and uh, that, that uh, exercise can really be applied to just a lot of things in your daily life. Um, any kind of decisions you can bring forth those like is you know is that going to help me or is that going to harm me in the long run right think about the the time and energy you're putting into it is that worth it in the end is it bring you closer to your goals or not if you're going through this list of activities and you're finding a lot of degenerative things in your life it, it may be time to start scaling back on some of those activities you know, it, it takes a little bit of strength, but you got to say, you know what, it's got it's going to be better for me in the long run to just put those activities to the side. Yeah. But of course, once you do that, then what do you do? Then you got this gap. Start filling that in with better activities. Yeah, I would say activities that are, they're both productive, but that you feel good about doing. Yeah, productive, that 
you know, you can look at it like it, these activities either have to help you or help someone, you know, it's just to be a better, more positive influence. Um, I think it also helps if you have a clear goal in mind and you have a path to reach that goal because imagine yourself um, traveling a path you're going somewhere that you've never been before you know if you don't know exactly where you're headed it's easy to get distracted kind of wander and, and lose your way yeah so definitely have a clear goal in mind it's good to have like a dream something big something you can feel passionate about and you may not know how to get there right away, but it's okay. I mean, dream big if that's what yeah. you want. You know, no limits to that dream, to that goal. And I think that, that helps keep you going, you know, when you get discouraged. You, know, you can go back to that, that goal and kind of encourages you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, having that mindset... Just uh, keeping that in front of you will really help you a lot. Now that being said, once you got that larger goal in front of you, that thing you're working towards, you want to break that down. Smaller goals. Smaller, like, daily achievable things that you can work on. And then you need to keep yourself accountable to actually achieve those goals so you keep moving forward. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, tons of things that you can do to uh, sort of keep on track um, and just keep that, that daily focus on this, those smaller goals. I mean, you're really good at uh, keeping track of your time. And... Well, I have to be because I am easily distracted. So I, I like to get things down you know, on paper or, you know, on my device uh, so that I can remind myself that, hey, I need to stay on track. Sometimes my mind is kind of all over the place. She could probably do a whole video just on keeping track of the daily activities and how to organize <laughs> that. <laughs> She's a sensei at it. Uh, but, I mean, these things, as powerful a tool as they are for distraction, can be amazing for uh, setting a getting a um, schedule down. You can get your schedule down. You can put in reminders. Again, a crazy productive tool right here. So as you start stripping down some of those negative uh, activities or some of those time wasting activities, you know, think about other ways where you can bring in more positive. Just set those reminders. Set those daily activities for whatever you're doing. Yeah, so you have time actually set aside for that. But, you know, life happens. And um, sometimes it's hard, you know, to do the things that you know you need to do. And so I think it's important to take care of yourself, too. You need time to recharge and do things that you enjoy doing. But, you know, set it aside specific times for that. So it's not like a constant escapism. Yeah, life is tough. And, um, yeah, I know firsthand, I mean, sometimes you're working um, one job where you're working like, you know, 50 to 80 hours a week. Sometimes you're working multiple jobs. Uh, and then, like, you get home from that, the last thing you want to do is, like, oh, how can I be productive right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to just, like, turn on the TV, zone out. Yeah, I get that. You know, but when that becomes a constant thing, when you're just working and then coming back and then recharge, uh, you know, just vegging out and recharging and then going back in there again, you know, you're, you get into an endless cycle where... You're definitely not doing yourself any good, and you're just revving yourself up for the next time when you can help your employer out. Yeah. All right, so 
if you find yourself in that cycle where you're just going back and forth like that, that's definitely time to reevaluate things, you know. Find out how you can break out of that cycle. Because you need a way to break <laughs> out of that. Because it's, it's not doing you any good and it's not doing the people around you any good to be in that position. Um, definitely start making plans and thinking about ways to just try, try and get out of that. Whether it's, you know, slowly reducing your hours and putting that focus into something else. Or, you know, you might need support from people around you. They can help uh, however they can with their time or energy. For sure. And never think that you're stuck in that uh, job either, you know. Always, like, if, if it's that job that's holding you back, think of something new where maybe uh, you don't have to put in that kind of uh, effort, you know. Just keep keep on the lookout. So, I'm getting distracted right now by bees and flies. I mentioned that I get easily distracted. Um, I think part of that is my creative mind. Um, so like I'll, I'll get a lot of creative ideas and I get excited about that and I want to start on that. And then I end up with a lot of unfinished projects. So I think what helps for me is, um, you know, if I have an idea, I'll write it down or do a sketch or document it in some way. And then I might have to go get back to it later and just kind of try to stay focused on one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your, you know, your energy and your focus gets divided and, and that's not uh, so good. So yeah, I was in that group where I was just working a ton of hours, just trying to pay those bills. I had a ton of student loans that I try, was trying to pay off, you know, so I was just working nonstop all the hours I could get. Yeah, so it it was definitely tough, and um, I am a lover of pop culture stuff like video games, comic books. You know, that was just huge. <laughs> so you know, I love playing. I love watching movies. I love playing video games, and it's uh, I had to kind of just slowly wean myself off of that and start doing more uh, more positive activities you know I really love reading and so like you know, I scaled back on you know, I still like to read for enjoyment but um, you know I just started getting more uh, excuse the gunshots people that's that's one of the activities around here at the trailer park uh, they have a shotgun range just in back of us <laughs> But uh, yeah, I was just uh, starting to read more uh, positive things that uh, just could help me reach toward, help me reach my goals. Uh, things where I could learn a lot more. And uh, I've been, I've been learning a lot of stuff. I've been learning, reading stuff about more th books on permaculture, books on gray water, books on water harvesting. I mean, I am ready to go. <laughs> I'd also say, you know, we're talking about trying to keep focus, and uh, one thing that helped me was uh, doing exercises, um, you know, like meditation or other exercises that help to train you to focus better. Um, I think that's helpful. So it might be difficult to to think about that stuff after you've just got back from work and stuff like that. But it's really, it really helps, you know, a stronger body, a stronger mind, which help keeps you on that focus. We'd love to hear about your guys' uh, goals or aspirations or ambitions. So if you'd like, just uh, put those in the comments down below. And as always, um, we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to, uh, to share with your friends, anyone that might find this helpful. And also you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Alright, thanks everyone. Bye.